Hey, and welcome to another video. And today we're going to be going over Crew AI. Now you might be asking, what is this? Well, this is essentially another AI agency framework like Autogen. What I'm gonna do is briefly go over at Crew AI, and then we'll go over some examples where we can use ChatGPT, LM Studio, and Olama for open source LLMs. So let's get started. So what exactly is Crew AI? Well, like I mentioned, it is another AI agency framework, and it really is kind of a competitor to ChatDev and Autogen. What I kind of realized myself through coding some examples is that Crew AI is pretty good at understanding what the sequential order for the task and an agent is, and seeing it syntactically in your code. It is a little bit easier to see and look at and understand what's going on. So what we'll be doing is assigning tasks to each agent, and then when we start the process, it's gonna kick off with the first agent in the sequential order. So the researcher, once we get the response from the researcher, it'll be then given to the next agent in sequential order, in this case, the writer. The writer will perform its task, and then it'll keep doing that until finally there's no more agents left, and then we give we are given the final response. And I'll go over three examples, one using ChatGPT or OpenAI API, as usual. And then the second one is connecting to LM Studio. So you have a free open source LLM to use. And then finally, the third one will connect with Olama. Again, another way to use open source LLMs. Well, we have a little bit to do, so let's get started. Okay, so what I'm gonna have in my GitHub is three different files, one for GBT, LM Studio, and Olama, because their setup is just slightly different, but it's really not that much different and it's not that complicated. Well, the first thing we need to do is install Crew AI. So you'll type in, in your terminal, you open it up and type pip install crew AI. Then the next thing is we need to import OS library. And then from crew AI, we want to import these classes, which is agent, task, crew, and process. And then we want to set our open AI API key to whatever you get from platform open AI. This is needed. Okay. So you make sure you have this set. And then similarly to Autogen, we're going to set up our agents now. They're slightly different, but not too different, okay? So the first one is gonna be the researcher. So we say researcher equals agent, which is the class. And kind of like how we had the name in Autogen, this is called the role, this is called the role property here. So the role is senior researcher. The goal and backstory properties here, it, they're kind of similar to the system message, but it's kind of split up now. So the goal is to discover groundbreaking technologies. Then the, this is the backstory given to uh, why we kind of want to do this. And then we say verbose is true. And there are a couple more properties, but this is just a basic setup. So these are the only ones I'm going to go over in this video. And we also need another agent, which is the writer. So we say writer equals agent, which is the class. And then we need certain properties. So we need the role, the name of it, the goal, the backstory, and then we say verbose is true. And now each agent needs a task to perform. So here the task for the researcher is we say research task equals task and then the description. Okay, so what do we want them to do? Well, we want them to identify the next big trend in AI. And then what's the agent that this is going to be associated to? Well, this is a research task, right? So the agent is going to be to the researcher agent up here. And this is how you define um, the task to the agent. So you create the agent, and then you just attach a task to the agent with this property. So you say agent equals researcher. And so now the researcher agent will perform this task when in sequential order, the researcher has to perform it. And the same thing for the writer task, okay? We say writer task equals task, which is a class, and we have to give it the description, which is to write an article on AI advancements leveraging the research made. And then what agent are we attaching this task to? And it's gonna be the writer agent. Okay, now we have to assemble the crew together. And how we do that is we say tech underscore crew is equal to the crew class, and the class has three properties that we need. So we need to define the agents involved. So the agents is going to be this array. So it's going to compri be comprised of the researcher and the writer, the task, all the tasks that need to be um, that need to be solved or need to be performed is the research task and the write task. Okay, and then the process is the process that is sequential. And as of right now, there's only one process type, which is sequential, which means that how we how we write this out, what the order we write it in, is um, how the agents are going to be sequentially processing the task. Finally, we have to run it. So kind of like how in Autogen, we would say init the user proxy initiate the chat and then give it the other agent to initiate the chat with. This is similar to this. So the result is going to be equal to techcrew.kickoff. So we're going to start uh, the process now. And then the result is whenever, so remember how I said the researcher is going to do the task, the response from that is going to be given to the next agent 
uh, in the sequential order, which is writer. And then when the writer's done, if there are no more agents left, we're going to be given that response back. Well, that response is going to be here, the result, and then we're going to print that out. So how about we just run this and see how it works? Okay, well, we executed it, and now it's going to start with saying entering new crew agent executor chain. Now, the thought was to identify the next big trend in AI, which is for the senior researcher. In the action input down here, this is what the senior researcher is going to do. They are going to work on identifying the next big trend in AI. So then it comes up with the final answer, which is here, that some of the recent breakthroughs in AI with the potential to become tr big trends include, and then it kind of gives this list, okay? And then the yellow here, this is like, um, this is like the response that it's going to send to the next agent in the chain. Okay, so once it's done here, and then the next action input, the next agent in the sequential chain is the writer. And so the writer is going to say, which ones do you think have the potential to become the next big trend and why? So now for the final answer or the final response from the writer, it's kind of give this long kind of story here. Okay. And then it's finished. And so then again, like the orangish yellow is like the actual response. And now we come down to the last chain here. And because there are no more agents, that last response that we got from the writer is going to be used to return back to us, which is where we kicked off the tech crew. So that result is what now we're going to print out. So that's what we're doing here is the final answer. So this is kind of the culmination of the senior reacher coming up with like seven different topics and then the writer kind of making it into a story and making it look like it didn't come just from AI. Okay, so this green here is the final result. And then this uh, delimiter here, all of these uh, hashtags or pound signs, uh, this is what we're actually printing out and returning from the original crew kickoff. And again, you know this because if you come down here, we printed this out and then we printed the result. Okay, so that's a basic of how this works. Now, the next thing is I'm gonna show you how to set this up to use LM Studio. For LM Studio setup, let's start with the Python file for crew AI because there's only two lines of code that need changed. And the first thing is the environment variable for the OpenAI API key, just set it to some string because we're using an open source local LLM we don't actually need an API key. Then the second thing is, is we need to set the OpenAI API base environment variable. And this is gonna be the local host 1234 version one, which is the default URL from LM Studio. Everything else here stays the exact same, nothing else changes. And then you run LM Studio, come over here to the left-hand side or for local server. Once you've downloaded a model, which I'll have a link in the description for how to do that from another video, you select one of your models, you wanna load that into LM Studio, and then whenever that's done, all we're gonna do is click this green button here that says start server. Now we start the server, and then we go back to your IDE. We're gonna open up the terminal, and we're gonna just type in python3 main-lmstudio.py, and then this is gonna kick off the same process, except we're gonna be using LM Studio. And you can see here, that the content says that we are a senior researcher in a curious mind fascinated by innovation and blah, blah, blah. Okay. So now it's going to do everything we just did for GPT, but do it with an LM studio and then give us a response back. Now let's see how we can set it up for Olama. Okay. Now for the last one, I'm going to show you how to use Olama. Well, the first thing that we need to do is you can see, I have a Langchain import here. So you open up your terminal and you just type in pip install Langchain. Okay, I already had the requirement satisfied, but once that is complete, now you can say from langchain.llms import olama. And what this is gonna do is now it's gonna allow us to use olama in order to get some local LLM to use. Well, let's say you don't have olama installed yet, and this is or this is your first time even using it. Well, all you do is you go to olama.ai, you'll see this web page, and then you click download. Okay, it's readily available for Mac OS and Linux. You have to do something with uh, WSL for Windows, but you'll just click download. And then once you download it, it will automatically run for you. And you'll see this little, well, if you're in a Mac, you'll see this little symbol for Olama, the meaning that it's running on your system. Now, once that is done, the next step is you can see here, this is just another variable. I call this variable Olama Open Hermes for the model. And I say equals Olama, and then it requires a model name. So model equals, and then Open Hermes. This is just the name of the model. Now, if you installed Olama for the first time, or you've already have it, but you don't have this model, the first thing is you need to download the model in order to use it. So in order to do that, you'll say Olama pull 
and then the name of the model. So in this case, Open Hermes. So whenever I run this, it's going to start to search for the model and download it. Now, I already have it downloaded, so it automatically says 100%, but eventually it'll say success. It could take a few minutes, depending on the system you have. Um, but once it's finished, now we're ready to go. Now, nothing else has changed. Again, for the OpenAI API key, you can just put whatever string here. It doesn't matter because this is locally. We're using a local open source LLM. We are not paying for this. This is free. We're not connecting to OpenAI's API. Now I just say Python 3 main dash o llama dot py. And then whenever I start running this, it's going to say entering new crew agent executor chain, meaning that we're starting another crew AI kickoff. OK, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Here is my GitHub. I will have a link in the description for all of everything that we just went over. I will also have a link in the description for my newsletter. I just send it out every Sunday at noon. You don't need to sign up, but it'll be there in case you want to hear what I had troubles with, what I did, what I'm doing the next week, and maybe some insights of what I'm planning on releasing. I really appreciate you watching. I hope you learned something new and something different with Crew AI. I can make a more in-depth video with something, they use something called tools, which you can also get from Langchain, or you can create your custom one, which help the agents perform the tasks. Let me know your thoughts and comments down below. I really appreciate you being here. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.